Let's go down the ladder now and join Paul Steigerwald. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. We're with a guy who is in his 16th season in the National Hockey League, Brian Trottier. And we mentioned during the broadcast about the fact that uh, Trottier had played so many playoff games that it's uh, really almost like playing two seasons, 175 playoff games you participated in, Brian. And I guess, in a sense, you have had two extra seasons under your belt in a way. Do you think that uh, does take it out of a player over the course of his career? Uh, not as long as you win. I think when you're <laughs> winning, I think it's, um, you know, the adrenaline is flowing. It seems to hurt a lot more when you lose. Uh, I can remember going in the, for the fifth cup and we lost. I really felt drained. Um, I remember being so tired after the first Stanley Cup, too. And uh, I remember standing around, jumping around with Kenny Morrow at center ice, and I just kept telling Kenny Morrow, I'm just so tired. But I'll tell you, but two or three minutes after that, you start feeling pretty good again. But um, I don't think it's, it's, it's that long. You know, when you were with the Islanders, I think you missed the playoffs only one year in your 15 seasons. So it was kind of a, a given that the New York Islanders would make the playoffs uh, every year, uh, different than what it's been for the Penguins over the years. Now here you come into Pittsburgh, and not only in the playoffs, but you're challenging for first place. And I guess, in a sense, maybe it's partly because of your presence, but on the other hand, you must feel pretty good about the fact that you've been able to jump into this situation. Oh, absolutely. I think the situation was, was ideal for me. Um, I can kind of push rather than pull the team from the back, and, and uh, you have great hockey players here. Mark Reck is having a standout season, as is Kez Kevin Stevens, and Johnny Cullen played outstanding for us up until the trade and carried the carried bulk of the offense until Mario got back, and now Mario's back. He's healthy. Uh, Koff is playing well. you got Tommy Brasso to have an outstanding season, and, um, you know, a lot of guys contributed big time, and a lot of guys can hold their heads up high and, and feel like they, they've done something to get the team where they're at right now. When you go into the playoffs, I think everybody, Bob was, uh, Johnson was kidding about it today, about how people are saying, uh, oh, we have a chance to go to the finals. We have a chance to go to the finals. Well, you know, I haven't played the first round yet. I mean, let's uh, first things first, right? And for a guy who's been there, you must know that, that you've got to take it one game at a time, and it's a brand new season, and anything can happen, too. Well, that's just it. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, nervousness on the team and I think it's just a matter of channel channeling it in the right direction and using that nervousness as, as uh, good enthusiasm and, uh, and energy rather than let it drag you down or make you really tight. Um, I think there's, um, there's a group of guys here though that uh, had real strong seasons. They've, they've developed as, as good leaders and uh, from that they can they can draw confidence and uh, confidence kind of breeds confidence and right now you can see the way the guys are playing that even if things go bad the players still feel good and confident and we can still go out there and do something positive can i shift gears for a minute absolutely i want to ask you about uh your heritage uh being uh, part indian or i guess as you would say a part part, part white, white. <laughs> yeah <I'm> part white <laughs> but i watched the dances with wolves the other night and uh, of course that won all the awards and the academy awards and a very interesting movie from that standpoint from uh, the indian heritage and just wondering if you talk about that and uh, and what the remembrances you have i understand your grandmother uh, was alive for quite a bit of your life so you were able to experience uh, what she was like um yeah my mother's irish and we um dad and mom didn't speak any irish around the house but but grandma and grandpa spoke indian to us kids all the time we didn't have a clue what they were saying. She had nicknames for everybody. And uh, I don't know what the translation was for some of them, but I know they weren't too good, you know, it was uh, <laughs> smelly butt and stuff like that. But we had, uh, she had a lot of fun with it. And uh, we certainly had uh, times because we didn't know what she was saying. And uh, I wish we could have learned a little bit from that. But, uh, you know, all the cousins, there were 15 of us running around. And, uh, but there's uh, Chippewa and Cree is our Indian heritage, and uh, it comes from like uh, North Dakota, Montana, and uh, Saskatchewan. And of course, you have a pass, right, that makes you you can travel all over North America. You're a North American. You're not. Uh, yeah, you're I'm a North American Indian, which allows us to work anywhere in, in North American continent. And you're also an American citizen and a former Canadian citizen. So you've covered it all, haven't you? Well, I haven't given up my Canadian citizenship, so I guess I'm I'm kind of dual. But I I just think of myself as North American, so I can do uh, I can work in any country, and I don't really push it and I don't abuse it at all. Well, hopefully you'll cross the country in the playoffs, Brian. Uh, good luck. Oh, I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of, of being a North American. Okay, thanks a lot. Brian Trottier has been with us and we'll return to the Spectrum in a moment with the Penguins leading. We didn't even talk about this game here tonight, but the Penguins seemingly in control of things as we go to the third period on the Penguins Hockey Network.